Hi, I'm Oregon Nick and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making a charging plate called Oceanus. And a charging plate is is a great piece of organite and it it does help to protect from the EMF radiation coming from the devices in your house and cell phones, Wi-Fi and the whole nine. But a charging plate is also good for charging things with organ energy. Like you might want to put your glass of water or pitcher of water. Um, you can put your medicine on it, your food, your money, your cell phone, your plants, whatever you have, you name it, you can put it on a charging plate. And um, yeah, they're just great little devices to have around. And if you're interested in making this piece or at least watching to see how it was made, Stay tuned, we're going to make it in just a few minutes. Okay, so let me start by showing you what you'll need to make this piece. First, I have a, what I think is called a tart mold, but it's just a four inch round coaster type mold. And uh, that's what we'll use. I have some gemstones, I've got lapis lazuli, turquoise halite, and blue goldstone. So we're going to be mixing those together. I also have some, well, I, for the centerpiece, I'd like to use this ammonite fossil. I really love using those. And I have some shells that I got from a, an individual seller on eBay and I thought it would be nice to put some of these type of shells in with this piece. This piece is going to be a charging plate. And I also have some uh, large pearls that I thought would look nice in this piece. So with that, oh yeah, I, um, I use polyester casting resin. I get it in a gallon size tin and it's not easy to pour small amounts from, so I keep mine in a jar. It's a little messy on the outside, but it's fine on the inside. And it comes with hardening drops and that's how we'll uh, make our resin hard. Um, you can use epoxy resin if you like. It's just going to take you a little bit longer to do the piece is all but it can be done. So let's start out by doing our first layer. And organite is done in layers because when it was first discovered, um, it was, they were using layers of organic and inorganic alternatively, alternatingly. And, um, Oh my God, I forgot to mix that with the resin, the hardening drops. Wow, this is a first. I'm gonna have to be really clever here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so hopefully I got the hardening drops mixed up in there really good. I feel stupid for doing that, but it happens and you just have to be ready to um, come up with an answer on the fly. So I'm gonna take my ammonite fossil and I'm going to place it face down in the mold so that this will be our top layer. So I'm just gonna drop that right there in the center and we're gonna let this layer harden and then we'll come back and put in some shells and our gemstones. Um, but while I'm here and what I was going to say about the layers is that organite is made of organic and inorganic layers alternatingly. And um, it, when Wilhelm Reich first discovered organ energy and he made his uh, organ accumulator, it was made with fiberglass and steel wool um, alternating layers of fiberglass and steel wool. And this worked for him in his accumulator, um, his organ accumulator. And uh, people after him also made organ accumulators out of fiberglass and steel wool, and they were able to get great results. But um, 
I believe that it was Carol Croft. I'm not sure, but I, I've, I've read that Carol Croft was the one who, in the year 2000, began making organite with um, crystals, metals, and gemstones for the organic and inorganic layers. And so that's what we're going to do is to use organic and inorganic layers and um, that, yeah, so that's what we're going to do today and I just wanted to explain to you why. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes and my first layer did congeal, so I must have mixed it up well enough. Um, and my ammonite slipped a little bit, but this off-center ammonite center is gonna, it's gonna look okay with the other shells in with it. Um, it won't look weird. But I did put my gemstones together in a cup. I put just a small amount of each so that I could blend them and pour them together. I think I'm gonna take some of my pearls and add them to the mix. So like six pearls. Make that seven. So let's see here, I'm going to take this shell put it there. That means it's going to stick out the bottom just a little bit because it's, it's a little big for this piece. Maybe I should choose a smaller shell. Okay, I found one that may be small enough. Same style shell. There we go. I'll add that. Well, let's see here. Maybe like that. And that. So I didn't need to use <clears throat> I didn't need to use all of my gemstones and we'll go ahead and pour some resin over this about an ounce and a half and I do with my hardening drops I'm not sure what it re recommends on the side of the jar or the can um, but all I know is when I did the recommended amount it wasn't enough so I have been using nine drops to start and then nine drops for every ounce thereafter. And that's worked out really well for me. It doesn't, it's not too much and it's not too little. It's a perfect amount. So with a, an ounce and a half of resin, I'm gonna do about 23 drops. I'm making this piece for a friend of mine who really loves the ocean and nautical themed stuff. So shout out to my friend Kevin and I hope he likes this. Okay, so we're just gonna let this layer uh, congeal and I'll be back to do our metal. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes and just to test. Yep, that layer has congealed. It's time to uh, add our metal and today uh, the metal we're adding is brass shavings. I forgot to mention that at the beginning but we are adding brass shavings. So for this last layer I'm just going to use an ounce of resin that should do it. Pour that in my mixing cup. Add 18 drops of hardener.
and we're gonna add feet at the end of this so any little pieces that are sticking through will be okay they're not gonna um, make it wobble or anything because with those feet it gives about um, a couple of millimeters worth of room so now we are finished we are just gonna let this harden completely and I'll come back to demold it and we'll see what we've got join me then okay so it's time to demold our piece and to put the feet on the feet that I'm talking about are cabinet dampening bumpers little half inch circles of pet like a little padding I put three on the bottoms of my charging plates in a triangle, but you can put four if you like. It's just up to you. It's beautiful. I'm loving it. So I just need to sand the edges and what I use to sand the edges are emery boards. I buy 10 in a pack and they just give you so much control over what you're sanding more so than any sandpaper has done for me. So this is just my personal preference. Um, if you have sandpaper and you want to use that, please feel free but um, I will leave a link in, in the description box where to get the emery board so you can, uh, you can do the same. Okay, so we are all finished. I got the edges sanded so they're smooth. It's a little bit rough on the bottom because some of the brass shavings are showing through, but I've got the feet on there so they won't get in anybody's way. But it looks really pretty with all the seashells and the ammonite fossil and the pearls and the blue gold stone is just really sparkling in the sun. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's really pretty. I hope my friend will like it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It makes me super happy when you do that. Subscribe to my channel for more Organite projects and hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified every time I come out with a new project. Anyway, thanks for joining me today in my Organite studio. I'm Organ Nick. Have a great day. I just wanted to make you aware that all of the Organite you see me make on my channel, except for today's piece, will be in my Etsy shop. And I will leave the link in the description box. So please head on over there if you're interested in any of these pieces.